Let's take a closer look at the sidewall markings of a Bridgestone passenger tyre. The first two marks on a tyre are, of course, the manufacturer name or brand name trademark and the tyre type. In this case, Bridgestone Potenza Sport. Next is the tyre size designation, indicating the nominal section width, the nominal aspect ratio, which is the ratio of the nominal section height and width, the tyre radial ply construction, followed by the nominal rim diameter expressed in inches. The load index indicates the load the tyre can carry. For instance, 105 corresponds to 925 kilograms. This marking indicates the maximum speed at which a tyre is designed to be driven for extended periods of time. For instance, Y corresponds to 300 kilometers per hour. The dot week marking consists of four digits. The first two digits indicate the week the tyre was made and the last two tell us the year. This marking shows where the treadwear indicator is located. The Uniform Tire Quality Grading is a performance level measurement system developed by the US Department of Transportation. The ECER30 is a marking required by EU homologation. There are a variety of markings specific to certain brands or models of cars, indicating that tires match the manufacturer's requirements. Each OE has its own marking. BMW uses a star, Audi uses AO, which stands for Audi Original, and L stands for Lamborghini. The inscription M plus S, or M dot S, or M and S, signals that the tire is designed to deliver a better performance in mud and fresh or melting snow than a normal tire would. This is the Alpine or Three Peak Mountain Snowflake marking, as defined in UN Regulation 117. It means that the tire is classified in the snow category. Tires in this category meet performance requirements based on a snow acceleration test in winter conditions. Run flat tires, extended mobility tires, and run flat technology tires markings indicate that the tire is capable of supporting the vehicle load in zero pressure conditions for a limited distance and speed.